Today we're going to DC, Washington DC. Washington, DC. <laughs> And um, we've, we've both been uh, to DC before. I've actually been a couple of times and I've actually been most recently, just like a couple months ago. But it was by, it wasn't, it was like- It was an accident. It was an accident, yeah. yeah. Like the, you weren't planning on going there. Right, cause it was like, I missed my flight. My over um, my overlay was in um, DC. I forgot what airport that was, Dulles. It was in Dulles and I was supposed to move on to Serbia. Um, but I had missed my flight because my flight was delayed in Florida. So I was stuck in Dulles for like overnight for almost like 24 hours. So um, since I was there, I was like, well, why not check out DC then? So yeah, I spent a half a day uh, doing that. But as I was exploring um, by myself, which was a lot of fun, um, I stopped by you know, one of the museums, which the Smithsonian Museum. So there's lots of museums that are, that are free there. But well, one of them, I had a great time because you get to act like you're doing like a speech, like you're a president. And Candy saw that in my stories and she's like, oh my God, that looks so fun. I'm like, I know, I was thinking about you when I was doing it. Like, it'd be so fun if we do it together. So it was in our head to come back to DC at some point together. Just so happened that this trip worked out because we're on a road trip right now. Yes. Just got done with Asheville and now we're on our way to DC because it's only like a seven and a half hour drive. Yeah, I the last time I went to DC was a little over 20 years ago. I think I was like 21. So I, after I saw Crystal, when she went, um, I was like, oh, I should go back because I really don't remember much. Um, and I think it is a good place to go, especially if you're American. <laughs> um, I feel like everyone should at least you know, go and check out the capital. Also DC, there is a lot to check out. And we're only there for two days, so we have to like pick and choose what we want to see. So we're going to do uh, most of the memorials, I think. And then maybe, I'm going to say like two to four museums, depending on how tired we are. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it does get tiring. It's um, a lot of walking. It's a lot yeah. of walking. I'm also um, interested in eating in DC this time too, because a lot of people have mentioned that uh, DC has really good food, which i would never heard. But uh, our I've friend Paul Paulina actually said this. She's oh, like, really? oh, they have great food there. I'm I've, like, oh, really? I've never heard about the great food in Me DC. neither. This is the first time I've heard of this. We're staying at the Canopy, um, which is only like a couple miles from like the main area of DC where all the memorials and stuff are. So we can just take an Uber there. Um, in the morning, what I plan on doing is driving there because they do have like a street parking that you can do by the Lincoln Memorial. So in the mornings, I figure we go with Kuma so she can like walk around, let, let out some energy, explore the memorials with us. Cause that's all outside, most of them, um, and free. Uh, and then take her back and then we'll go back out, just me and Candy and do all the museums. Oh, so the canopy uh, by the Hilton. I used all my Hilton points for that. So it's basically free, but <laughs> uh, parking there is so expensive. Cause so you have to valet park there. It's like $70 a night. It's what? so crazy, like the craziest amount I've ever heard. And the most I ever paid was 50 yeah. for parking a night. Yeah. Wow, 70 is pretty high. I know, so I was like shocked. I'm like, $70 for a night? The Peffy wasn't that bad. It was like $75 for like the entire stay. So that wasn't bad at all. So I'm glad I got to use like my Hilton points because like that valet fee is just crazy. Um, but I, I think it is like all over like DC. That's just their rate, their ongoing rate. So yeah, so we're doing two days of exploring and really looking forward to doing it together. last night around like it was close to eight right now we're on our way to uh, the Lincoln Memorial area we're taking Kuma with us uh, we're driving there uh, hopefully we can find some parking because there is some free or not free park. I think there's like street parking by the Lincoln Memorial like behind it so we're gonna try to park there uh, and take Kuma with us and then um, after like a couple hours then we're gonna cut, drive back with Kuma and leave her in the hotel and then we're gonna go back out and explore on our own. When we come back, we're gonna take an Uber because it's only like a couple miles from our hotel. We just wanted to take uh, the car with us this morning so we could take Kuma with us. Although there is pet friendly Uber too, which I did hear about before, but there was an option for that too if we wanted to do that. So if we can't find parking, maybe we'll come back and 
get the pet friendly Uber. We'll see. So right now we're driving through a little bit of traffic because it's uh, 8.30 in the morning. So everybody's like on their way to work, but it's actually not that bad. All right, so we did find parking. It wasn't that bad. We thought it was gonna be uh, kind of hectic in the beginning because there's already a lot of people here, but it's like school buses and stuff. Yeah, I think really there's quiet. like- Yeah, it's really quiet right here. Yeah, but here there's um, plenty of parking still on the street on Ohio. Yes. Street, so not bad. Miss Miss Princess, Miss Queen. Princess Kuma's here. She's ready. Ready. So yeah, this is the Ohio Street. This is where you can find some street parking along this road. And then back over there, where Kenny's taking photos. This is that direction is where the memorials are. signs that say you could bring your dog so it is dog friendly right, isn't that great Kuma? she's just concentrating on candy right it's dog friendly so you can walk with us here so we're here at the korean memorial because uh, it was like closest to where we parked at the ohio uh, street there um, and this is the korean war veterans memorial memorial up here it's under construction still last time I was here in August it was under construction as well we're gonna take Kuma as far as we can yeah and then we'll have to like she'll have to wait out. I have to wait outside with her because you can't go into the enclosed memorials with your dogs but you could stay outside of it So much attention from everybody here. Like these, there's so many school uh, field trips going on. All the kids are yes. like, "Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog?" She's just got like a million pets right now. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the reflecting pool right there, and that's the Washington Monument in front of us. And then to the left is the Vietnam Veterans Wall Memorial over there. So we're gonna head over there now. So we actually ended up at this place called Tati Bakery and Cafe. We just walked by it and saw like all the entrees that people were eating looked really good. So yeah. we're like, uh, let's stop by there for lunch. The Everything brand? is made house made. Um, the, the price reflects that. Yeah. Yeah, because look, I mean, you can just tell by the bread that it's like a little bit different. It's very soft. Yeah. The ingredients, the ingredients look great inside too. Because I got the uh, breakfast sandwich. It has egg bacon. Cheese in it. I was looking at that. Yeah. And then I got the uh, avocado, avocado uh, turkey sandwich. Nice. Okay, so we decided to stop by this uh, French bakery called uh, Je ne sais quoi. They have lots of uh, pastries, so lots of desserts, but I got this Paris Brest. Uh, with pistachio filling, uh, which looks really good. I never had one before, but it looks super good. And I love pistachio. And then Candy got the madeleine. Good. good, nice. Very buttery. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I like. Yeah. Okay, we're finally at the Smithsonian American History Museum. But it's yeah. already like almost two o'clock, so we only have like a few more hours, a few hours to explore this yeah. museum. Maybe but... maybe tomorrow we'll spend a little less time in the morning. Yeah, or start earlier or a start bit. Earlier. Yeah. We'll see. Because we'll uh, I can't believe yeah. how fast the time went by today. It's crazy. It's just, yeah. But I'm just like shocked that we only have time for like one museum. I thought we could maybe do two, two but no, can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's free, so we could just walk in and not have to wait in line for anything and pay because it's free. You got your map crystal. Got my map. We love to explore here. Here it is, Dorothy's ruby slippers. But I actually like this section a lot, this entertainment section. I love how they did this display of like, you know, all the iconic moments in U.S. history. This is like a really cool section because they have uh, all the dresses, like the iconic dresses that the First Ladies wore. Eleanor Roosevelt wore this one. Like, look at the back of that. This is when they, you know, had like that butt lift. Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting back. how they used to do that. Yeah. Like that. That's Jackie Kennedy's dress. I like this red dress. Yeah. Oh, Eisenhower. Yeah, this is still my favorite dress of all the first ladies, Melania Trump's. Speak the truth, the whole truth, frankly and boldly. Yeah, do the finger pointing. Yeah. How are you feeling now? Um, a little bit scary on like the sidewalks. It's so much faster than people. Yeah, it is a little scary. All right, so we just took this uh, bike ride back for the first time. We used the line bike, and it was about a 30-minute ride back because there's like traffic and stuff um, that we had to avoid. But it was actually $13 um, from the Smithsonian Museum to our Canopy Hotel. I forgot how many miles that was, but. Anyway, it cost like $13, so, and Candy also spent like $13, $14, so in the end, it's cheaper just to get an Uber, because that would have been like $15. So where are we going? Hey. We're gonna go to Lady Bird. It's a rooftop bar. Um, it's at a Kimpton Hotel. I just noticed it when I was walking Kuma, looking up, and I'm like, oh, that looks like a cool rooftop bar. We're at Lady Bird Rooftop Bar in, uh, at the Kimpton, not in, but at the Kimpton. We just got our drinks. View. Yes, we wanted a rooftop view, yeah. so. This is amazing, and the weather is perfect. We got so lucky yeah, with so, the weather. so, lucky with the weather. It's supposed to be like a lot colder than this. It's like 70 degrees. So nice. So today is another day in DC. This morning we are going back to uh, the National Mall area, but we're gonna do like the Tidal Basin area where the Martin Luther King Memorial is and the FDR Memorial. Uh, I've never done that side before and neither has Candy. And it's a perfect area to take Kuma to. So I like to take Kuma out in the mornings um, so she can get some energy out because we can't take her to the museums with us later. So, you know, that's a lot, lot of great walking for her in the morning. Uh, Cause yeah, yesterday what, we did like three and a half miles um, going to all the memorials around there. So yeah, so this time we're gonna do like another side that I haven't done, that both of us haven't done. We're driving there. We're gonna park in the same area on Ohio Drive or Ohio Street uh, where there's like street parking there. Uh, I believe you can park up to three hours there, which we did yesterday. We parked. 
uh, there for like two and a half to three hours, and it was just about enough time to do all the stuff Turn we wanted right to do. 15. There's the Washington Monument right there. We actually didn't stop by there yesterday, but it's something you can do. You can actually get tickets to go up to the top too. We have to do that in advance. Yeah, so it's 8.14 in the morning, and we parked on Ohio Drive again, a little bit closer to the Martin Luther King Memorial. Yeah, there's plenty of parking along the street right now, so if you come early in the morning, you'll have no problems finding parking. Even yesterday, when we came a little bit later, there was plenty of parking available. And then you just use the Park Mobile app to pay for parking, and for two hours, it's uh, about $5, and then for three hours, which we did yesterday, that was $7.50, I believe. So, you know, not too bad. Since yesterday, there's been a lot of, like, school field trips. There's, like, another big one coming right there. But, you know, at first I was like, oh man, like school field trips, but it hasn't been that bad. Also, these kids are really funny and super nice. So they give Kuma lots of attention. They all like, oh, can I pet her? And they're yeah. really polite. Um, you know, they all ask if they could pet Kuma. And I'm like, yeah, please go ahead. But yeah, we've been enjoying these kids. <laughs> like they're just, they're so much fun. And yeah, so this area is really nice. I mean, you could, you know, take a nice leisurely walk around the basin. Uh, if you get tired, this is what I like about DC too. There's lots of benches everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of places to rest. Yeah. Okay, so here is the Martin Luther King Memorial. So I really like how they carved it out. Nice. Yeah. Nice and peaceful around here. It's not too busy at all. No, actually. it's very calm. Yeah. <laughs> this tidal basin area which is really gorgeous uh, just noticed a sign that said no dogs allowed or no dog walking allowed so I think you can just stay around here and take pictures but you can't walk with your dog along the basin which kind of sucks because it is really nice here but you can you know go to the memorial here with your dog This is the Franklin D. Roosevelt Memorial. There's yeah. actually a bookstore here too. I thought it was just a bookstore, but it is the memorial as well. well. Yeah, we came by here earlier and we saw the bookstore and for some reason we totally missed the statue. Yeah, it's kind of like it's hidden kind of, behind these small. trees and stuff and it is pretty small. So. And it was much darker. So that's a Tim in a wheelchair. Even up there they put a little wheelchair. Um, miniature wheelchair. Miniature wheelchair. Miniature wheelchair. FDR. <laughs> Yeah, so it says, FDR, try to keep his use of a wheelchair from the public. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing any, like, pictures of him in a wheelchair or anything. Well, they try to hide it. You know, he wanted to hide it from the public because he didn't want to be perceived as weak. Did he always wear cool glasses like that, too? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> time here by this little waterfall like you get fantastic pictures yeah so. we're having fun with slow motion video yeah here. <laughs> that's pretty funny but you also get a nice view of the washington monument from here too so if you want like different angles or pictures this is a great place to do it and of course kuma got lots of attention from all the school field trips <laughs> he's like the rock star of this trip every class that comes by there's like a million kids like, can I yeah. pet your dog? Yeah. And they're like, your dog's so cute. Oh, yeah. And again, they're all polite. They they're all they're ask. very polite kids. Yeah. Even yes. if a kid is already petting, the next student comes like, can still I pet you? Yeah. You know, I should be like, no. You can, you can, oh, you, you can. You cannot, no, <laughs> sorry. So now uh, we took Kuma back and we're at Founding Farmers. This is the one on Massachusetts. There's a couple locations, actually a few locations that they have. 
So this one has a distillery. So it said yeah. founding fathers and distillery. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe the other one doesn't have a distillery. I don't thinking. think so. Yeah, they didn't yeah. have that at the end of the name. So they said most of the things are the same, but they do have different menu items. Because mm -hmm. we did ask, like, what's the difference? And it didn't seem like there was like a huge difference. So. Yeah. All right. So just got our breakfast. So we both got the founding farmers uh, breakfast, where you get like choices of everything. Uh, I got scrambled eggs, the cheese grits, and bacon with pancakes. And I got scrambled eggs, uh, tomato, apple bacon, no, apple sausage, and then English muffin. Mm. Really good eggs. Nice. Those are really good. <laughs> so this is a cheesy grits. I love trying grits everywhere lately. Ever since I went to Nashville and had like grits for the first time, I'm like, oh, grits are actually pretty good. So I try it like everywhere now. Mmm. What do you think? How are your pancakes? They're so good. First of all, whipped butter. Fantastic. Candy was like, oh, you're putting a lot of butter on. I'm like, girl, it's whipped butter. And leave me alone. So we're here at the National Museum, Museum of, of Natural, Natural History. History. I don't know, it's we so it. hard for me to remember. <laughs> so the very first thing you're going to see when you walk into this museum is this a gigantic elephant statue. Yes. How big it is. Yeah, it's super <laughs> big. It's very iconic. Like every time you see uh, a picture about the Natural History Museum, this elephant always comes up. Very interesting pose this otter has. That's the Northern River otter. Oh, turn around though. Look at that. Like, wow. Oh, wow. 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 This is cool. They have a fossil lab here. It says, I am uncovering fossils of small meat-eating theropod dinosaurs. All right, so this is the Hope Diamond place where jelly, gems, and minerals are. But this is like the thing to see here. This is it. This is the Hope Diamond. Crystal's like, I don't see mummies yet. Where are the Egyptian mummies? So this mummy in particular is from 150 BC to 50 AD, it's crazy. I always find this interesting about the coffins, like the pictures or the drawings inside, how it tells a story. Well, they all have like some kind of meaning, all of them. It's interesting, like they were all about living forever, like preparing yeah. for eternity. Just like the movie Mummy. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. Oh my gosh, are they real? Yes. Thank you. Five and six here. Oh my gosh, right you're, you're brave. I don't know if I could do that. Let's see her hold it. Aww. She's all laughing like it's cute. Okay, so we just got done with the Natural History Museum. You could probably spend like three to four hours here, but we spent like just a couple hours, which is great because we were kind of tired from yesterday's museum. Yeah. A lot of walking yesterday, because you do a lot of walking in DC. so loud in here, like, Kenny and I can't even talk. I don't even know what she's saying right now. <laughs> <laughs>